Have you ever thought of starting your own coaching business? Or maybe you've had an idea that you wanted to create a new course and you just didn't know how to get it in front of people. Well, I hear you. Hey, this is Mark Nelson. I am a former high school teacher turning lifestyle entrepreneur and a business coach. And today what I want to talk about is how should you start your coaching business from scratch? Or how would you start your coaching business from scratch? Anything you do from scratch is a challenge. And I'm going to tell you the first thing that I heard every time that I was starting something new was build my list. Build my email list. I hear you. But how do you build an email list when you don't have an audience of people yet? So here is what I would do. What you want to do is build an audience of people. Now, I wouldn't go out and buy ads. That's just me. Because I'm not, I wouldn't be ready to work with those people coming from the ads. What I would do is I would do it organically. Now, my choice of social media is Facebook, but it could be LinkedIn. The first thing I would do to build an audience is I would create a group. And inside this group is you start building relationships. Now, when you build a group, you name it something that what your niche is or what you're doing, whether it's entrepreneur leaders or online business secrets or whatever, you get it. Just name it something that's within your niche. And then what I would do is I would start telling people that I have this group. Now, to get inside the group, I do two things. One is I'm going to go to other people's groups in my niche, who I think my audience is. Right? I don't know who, what your audience is. But I'm going to go inside these groups, and I'm going to just go inside the members, and I'm going to add friends. I want to add them as my friends. I'm talking about Facebook right now. And the idea behind this is I'm, I'm not trying to get them away from their group. I'm not trying to steal them. I'm trying to add friends and inside what I've done inside my profile, they come in and look at my profile. Guess what? I'm inviting them to join my group. So that's the first thing is I go in and I start adding friends from different groups inside my niche. Now, when they become a friend of mine, I don't just send them a direct message. What I'll do is I go, I go on their profile, I go find a post and I make a comment. I like it, I comment, and then I start, I want to start showing up inside their profile, not trying to sell them anything. I'm not trying to do any of that. What I'm trying to do is get them to take notice and see if I can get them inside my group. Now, when I'm inside my group, I'm posting content twice a day. It doesn't have to be long content. Sometimes it's training, sometimes it's engaging. I try to do a live training once a week and the idea is this inside that group I want to start building relationships so when I get somebody brand new I'll do a welcome post I'll go grab a picture off their profile post it in the group welcome in the group and I ask them to introduce themselves and not all people do it I'm familiar and very used to doing videos so I would really like to do have them do a video and if they don't, they don't. That's that's no big deal. But what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to warm up the relationship because I want to get to know them. That's what this all is about. Now, you can also, inside your group, is you can build a lead magnet. Something free of value. Right? So when they come in the book, inside the group, they get this. Well, guess what? Usually, inside that group, if you have a lead magnet, you're going to ask them to give you your email list. That's how you start building up your email. So, I think I said email list. So, another thing you do in your group is you have what's called a lead magnet. Something that they can use to help them in their journey. Now, this is how you build your email list, because when they go get that lead magnet, in exchange for the free lead magnet, they put in their name and email address, and guess what? They're on your list, and you start nurturing them that way also. Now, the whole key behind this, again, is 
I believe the best way to build an audience is right now is through Facebook groups. I really do. Go in and help those people build relationships. Let them get to know who you are. And then as you keep training, then there's a time period where you can start asking them if you can help them further in your coaching business. That's what I've done. And that's what I will continue to do. So I hope that's great value of you to, for you today. I hope that makes sense. If not, just reach out and we can maybe do a brainstorming call just to help you get going in your way. Hey, I also, if you're a course creator, I got a great freebie. Great freebie. It's called MarkNelsonOnline.com course creation. And again, if you want to schedule a brainstorming call, all it is is just a free Zoom call or just a free call, and it's MarkNelsonOnline.com forward slash call. Y'all take care, and we will talk soon. Bye.